my chrome. Dang it, there's a flan in my deck. I thought I took you out. <laughs> oh, man. That makes me so mad. <laughs> oh, a complete dead card. <laughs> it's like I, I did a mulligan. Oh, man. Um, so we got a forest, a plains, a uh, master of the unseen, and a two drop. Oh, you drew it? What? You drew it? Yeah. Is your hand okay? It's okay. If I get two more lands, it'll be great. But I do have the sovereign. I mean, this is probably a mulligan. It's already a mulligan. With yeah, the flat, really literally. Because I can't play it. That makes me so mad. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I got a mulligan this. Unfortunately. Alright, it's a little better. You got two two drops. Oh, only planes though. I got Territorial Rock. I guess I'll keep this one. You only have one plane? No, I've got two planes. Oh, okay. If I draw a forest, which I did, so I should be good now. Yeah. A Ration Sovereign coming there. Seven drops. It's gonna be getting. It's gonna be hitting hard. <laughs> Playing against Black White. Playing Hand of Solemgar. Ooh, that's pretty good. So with that... You probably play the rock. A territorial rock. I just want to straight up block. Versus the survivalist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like he, that. If he, if he attacks, though, he's probably got a flyer in his hand. Yeah. It's really weird. I wonder why my hangout keeps crashing on me, though. Like when I try to share my screen. I don't know. Oh, and he's attacking. I think I'll block. Sure. Yeah, I'll block. Yeah. yeah, I'll trade. I'll trade with whatever spell he has in his hand, though, too. So. Second main phase. Three lands. And he has a sandstep outcast. That's why. What's that? It's the uh, two one that makes a one one flying token. Oh okay. Yep. I've got the let's see, do I have any tricks here? So I've got the Avon Sun Striker, and that's the one one double striker flyer. And then I do have Guardian Sh Shield Bearer, which it megamorphs for four to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. I play the Sun Striker, so then he can't attack. Yeah. Because it's first strike. Yep. Not as a morph, though. Yeah, I, as a normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then I can play around with... I also have Enduring Victory once I do up to five mana. Bolster mm -hmm. on my little guy. My little 1-1 one, one double striker. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that holds... He's, he is playing black. He could have removal, or I took all the good removal that I'm not playing. <laughs> Except for flatten. <laughs> That's just ridiculous that I drew it. Opening hand. Yeah, that's, that's how I'm looking Yeah, I know, right? And I, I was like, making... I guess I was at 15 seconds. I was like, double check, quick scan. All right, no attacks. No lands, unfortunately. So I'm going to Mega Morph the guy that I can flip. Or I can Morph. That I can flip to give it plus one, plus one. Okay. Because I like beefing up that bird. Hitting for four turn flying could be pretty good. Mm-hmm. And I did draw um, a territorial rock. What's that do? That's a 1-3 flyer. Your, <laughs> your favorite bird. Come on. Wait. I thought you already had one. Nah, I have two in my deck. Oh, you have two? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah. Harsh suspense. It's pretty good. Targeting. It's a pretty good the 2 1 and a 1 1 flyer. Yeah, he took out my uh, even Sun Striker with harsh sustenance. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, does uh, he have any other creatures on the board? And he's got three cards in his hand, two mana open, just those two creatures. Um, let's see, do I want to trade with his 2-1? Because my morph 
can become a 3-1. Or I can make my territorial rock a 2-4. I think I like that more. Yeah, I'll take I'll take three. Yeah. Also, that territorial rock is oh. going to stop him in his track, so you don't really have to worry about racing too much. Yeah. Or it should. Yeah. What did they flip on? Four. They got you have him play? Four. That's, that's costly. Yeah, it is. Maximize my mana here, playing a survivalist. Yeah. I only have four lands, though, so... Waiting for the Arasha Sovereign. Arasha? Arashan? Arashan? How do you pronounce that? Do you know? Arashan, I think. Arashan. Okay. He's playing black, white, red. He has a champion of Arashan. 3-2 lifelinker. Okay. No attacks. You're right. The... The Rock is doing some work, huh? <laughs> Boom! This is gonna Did be you awesome. attack with a 2 No. What the hell? Attack with a 2-2? Two -two? With the morph last turn? No, I didn't attack. Ah. Uh, he was he didn't attack. He was I didn't want to trade. Oh, he he had a uh, his I th I figured he attacked you. Uh, he had I don't remember now what's going on. What happened? <laughs> Maybe I should have attacked. Nah. So right. you just leave your mana open and pass turn, right? Even tactician. 2 3 bolster. I'll make his spirit or his sand step bigger. Probably a spirit, maybe? Yeah. He has a 2 2 flyer now, a 2 3 flyer. And what's Did you pass? Hold on. <laughs> All right. It's at the end. Of it. He didn't attack. He was just afraid of this little. This is my megamorph. Are you, are you megamorphing? Think... Yeah, I'm gonna megamorph it. Um, and put I... plus some plus encounter on the the flyer. Yep, yeah, I like that. This is funny trying to play a game when you can't see the board. <laughs> I think I'm playing better than you are. Are you? are you playing there too? Alright. <laughs> I do have a daring victory that I can just hold in my hand to see how he wants to attack. But he probably won't though. Well he does have two I think, flyers. I think you should add to the board. Yeah, I've got the abyss. The only thing I'd add those Atarka's Beast Breaker. What's that do? It's a two it's Grizzly Bear. Oh. Formidable though. It's plus four, plus four. So you get trample. What 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 uh, what's your formidable rating at? What do you got right now? Right now is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, that's so you're good. at formidable. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I, it costs five to give it. Plus four, plus four. Oh man, he's yeah. de he's defeating my territorial rock. Oh. No, I'm, I'm wide open to the flyers. <laughs> oh. So he's hitting for four flying. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Seems like that Territorial Rock is like the best de card in your deck. It does seem like that, doesn't it? Soul <laughs> Summons. <laughs> so I need to draw a land land. You do? Oh, for that 5-5 that five, five flyer? Yeah, I've got Abs and Sky Captain now. That seems pretty good. Is that the Bolster 2 guy? Yeah, when he dies. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What? How did? So, turn face up, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. I don't know if there's a glitch or something. What the heck happened? He, uh. <laughs> so, my territorial rock had a plus one plus one counter on it, right? It's a 2 4. He defeated it, right? And then. Now my guardian has a plus one plus one counter on it. Am I missing something? Oh, no, never, never mind. Because when you megamorph it, see that's this is how often I don't play as megamorph. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was thinking it just um, flips. I forgot that it gets a plus one plus one counter on it. 
Oh, no, I know, right? I I've only I haven't drafted fate so I only did that one previous draft that I did on Sunday with Mystery Man. But other than that okay. I didn't I didn't play any pre releases and I didn't draft fate at all, I think. I played in one pre release. Mystery Man's been drafting a lot still, so hasn't he? I guess it's not it's not recorded, doesn't exist. Right. Oh, he's got a dragon now. He's he's dashing in the red red green or red black four five the Coligan, the storm's fury uh, that card wins that's pretty good pretty good <laughs> i got enduring victory for it though so i'm at 13 let's see how he attacks he's thinking he's thinking all right so we got this deck's pretty good Oh, what was that? Someone trying to join us? Nope. Oh, he's he's going all out. Oh, because all of his creatures get plus one plus one. I think it's only dragons. Balls. He's doing he's doing pretty well for himself, isn't he? <laughs> um, alright. He's all tapped out. How am I gonna win in this game? We gotta do some crazy trades. And the rest are flyers here. No, I don't wanna trade like that. What am I what am I crazy? Alright. Six eleven. Puts me at two. This game's not looking good for me. <laughs> well, he has well, gonna have three flyers next turn. So bounce back your dash guy. Oh, you know, never Sandstep. I always think Sandstep has flying. I could have killed that off. That would have made a difference. Well, would it have? Depending on what I draw. Nope. I got. He's got two creatures coming through. What's up? Force him into attack. If I had traded that off, he'd still have two flyers. So yeah, I may have made a bad block there though, but... Alright, you gotta force him to attack. We'll see what he does. So you can get in his head, you know? Is he gonna attack? All right, to game two, Blood Skull. All right. So let's go ahead and take out that flatten. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good... Or should I put black in now, huh? No. No, I'm not going to. Um, feast pinion? Or pinion feast? Destroy target creature to flying bolster too. I actually kind of like that. He had a lot of flyers. Well, at least yeah. four that game. Uh, I like that a lot. Okay. All right. Getting in there. Here we go. I, my deck needs to actually perform the way it's supposed to. And I need to play a lot more magic because uh, I am sucking it up. I was, I was about to say. Say what? I was going to say... Maybe you need to perform the way you're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I got a mulligan this. This is really bad. Um, all right. Uh, I've got two I'm... drop, two drop, three drop, six drop, two lands, four and a plains. I'll keep this. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, it probably does make it harder translating your hand. A little bit, yeah. It's more talking, <laughs> but which is fine because if we're if we are recording, it's better to to talk like that get things going um, oh no i prefer dead air <laughs> do you all I'll right playing like... my tarka's um beast breaker 
<laughs> I prefer dead air, like when you're watching YouTube. All right, he <laughs> has a 2-2 also. I think I'm okay. With well, depends on if I draw a land. Got a land. Nice. Um, hmm. My 2-2 two is better than his 2-2, two -two, but I don't see myself... Do I see myself getting too formidable anytime soon? Um, I, I feel like you'd probably trade. What does he have? Uh, the Colagon Skimisher. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's a trade. Yeah. He probably. Are would. you attacking? Yeah, I attacked. He, he might blocked. not even block. They, but he nah, probably won't. Yeah, he did. Um, so now I can play Dragon Bell Monk or a morphed creature. I think Dragon Bell Monk is just because it has vigilance. Mm -hmm. Also, it's hard to block. Yeah, because of prowess. He doesn't know, he doesn't know what I got. Do you have anything? No. I got, a <laughs> I got a channel harm. With only three lands. And I do have an enduring victory. And he's got a morph. Do I trade mine for his morph? I mean, I think I still attack. Just immediately snap attacks. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. doesn't. So he's like, crap, you got something. Yeah. He'll probably block, but, you know, he might not. Yeah. And then you can block in turn. Mm-hmm. I mean, so if he... If I... So I'm, already, I'm waiting on him and beginning combat. Like, I immediately went to it. Um, if he doesn't block, then he won't attack next turn. Unless he can morph it over. Yeah. Which, which means you should probably, like, set up maybe a double block. Uh, let's see. He didn't block. He took his two. So, so you should play like you're going to double block right now. I only have one creature, though. Okay. Now I've got two creatures. That's what I mean. You should play the creature that you're going to double block with. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Like, he's not going to attack, though. If he didn't block, he's not going to attack. Well, now, I guess now he will, though, because if I don't have mana to do yeah. tricks. Yeah. And and you can't like single block it because it's pro it could be a mega morph that you you won't kill. Right. I mean, I would just take the damage though. So you okay. did play yeah. glaring Aegis on it. So now he has a three five. See, glaring Aegis is pretty good actually. Is three five of the morph? It's gonna be it's, whomping. It's not that good though because it's a two for one if you kill it. Yeah, but it does give you tempo. So it's like half of, it's like a, a 1.5 for one. Is it really giving you tempo? Him yeah. tempo? Yeah. The attack? Yeah, he attacked. Okay, now you get to hit him back. No, he has a hand of Songar. What? Oh yeah, the two one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Hmm. Here is the thing. Do I want to? I can make it. No, 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 no. Nah, nah, nah. I've got the Abzan Sky Captain now. Are you attacking? No, I don't think so. Why not? Because he'll kill off the Dragon Bell. So? I'll You're trading with the Death Toucher. What? You're trading with that Death Toucher. That Death Toucher's good. Yeah, yeah, let's see, I guess. I'll offer the trade. What's your other creature? It's the Guardian Shield Bearer. You can Megamorph it and put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. <coughs> okay. So I want to put that on the flyer. And he is stuck on three okay. lands though too. So that's a, that's a thing. Yeah, so you should be getting aggressive right now. The oh, well. Someone's trying to come in. Is that... Hold on. Keegan, you still there? Hello? Who's... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's uh, not me. Another call. Hello? Hello? Hey, you win? No, yeah, there's there's Kegeleg. I figured I it out. I lost the first game. 
I'm just okay. playing sloppy all over the place. But uh, it's yeah. his it's his turn, and he did trade his uh, hand of solemn gar with my dragon bell monk. That's all right. Yeah, I'm okay. With Can you that. not? Share I choose not to. Okay. <laughs> no, whenever I share my screen, Chrome crashes, so I'd have to restart my computer. And since I'm in the okay, yeah, this has been a fun game of telephone. <laughs> <laughs> like pretty much Key giving me advice that I've already done. <laughs> yeah. Um So we're waiting right, on well. him. It's it's his turn, turn five. He did get his fourth land. And he has a morph with glaring Aegis on it. So it's a three five. He just played champion of a Russian. A Russian. Alright, with that I'm gonna catch you guys later. It's too much for him. It's too much. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> later, was <laughs> he couldn't keep up, could he? I don't blame him. Yeah, is it annoying? Are you doing something else? No, I'm not. No. I should be. <laughs> yeah. I should I should check my my email and stuff. Probably. Yeah. So. Tick 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 tick. So I did just draw Student of Ojas High, the two four white creature. Let's attack for two flying, and then I'm gonna play the Student of Ojas High. Because they can block his champion and his morph, but specifically his champion of Arasha, so that I could kill it and not kill mine. You're not gonna kill it. If he attacks, I'll kill it. Oh, oh, the champion, the champion. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I still have my morph, the bearer. So this is a good way, since like you can't see my screen, of learning all the the names of the cards. Guardian shield bearer. It's a 2-1 morph, megamorph guy. Cost 4 to megamorph it. Give target creature plus 1, plus 1. Yeah. Guardian sh shield bearer. So he did get a 5th land. It is a mountain. So he has 2 swamps, 2 plains, 1 mountain. Uh, has, mountain thing. Yeah. And he has the morph, the 3-5 morph, and then the champion. 3 cards in his hand. So this is actually good. Like By talking all this out, this is like actually what you're supposed to do. So you can keep track of all the information. So he is attacking with his morph. Does that mean it's a red creature? Um, I'm not going to block. I'm at 17. He's at 16. I'll let you flip it. It could be that 5-1. and that uh, five one. No flips. I'll just take three. Um, Avon Tactician. So he's going to make his champion a 4-3. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, I drew a forest. I do have Enduring Victory in my hand. He has a 2-3 flyer. I'm going to attack. And I, let's see. So I can attack. Yeah. If he blocks, I can give a plus one, plus one. <coughs> you know you want to block. No blocks. No blocks, huh? Alright, just take a two. Take a two. So we'll see how he attacks now. Maybe that's nah. I don't want to flip it yet because I have in ending victor enduring victory in my hand and also that morph to do some tricks to make my student Ojitai a three five, and then make my morph a three two. So my three two can block his champion, which is a four three right now. But he he will still have the two three flyer with Avon Tactician. Which beats my 2-2. Two -two. However, I do have Enduring Victory for it, if we get to that. Mm -hmm. Waiting on him. I'm at 12 minutes, 53 seconds. He's at 14 minutes and 37 seconds. So time's not really an issue yet. Yeah, you're right. That 7 drop just sat in my hand the entire time last game. But, yeah. Um... Game's pretty, uh, or the, the format's pretty fast right yeah. now, I think. Yeah. It seems like it's pretty fast. Alright, he was thinking, he's in the tank of, like, how he wants to attack. Alright. Oh, interesting. He's attacking this 2-3 flyer and the 3-5. 
Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and... My student's going to block you 3-5. We'll see if you have any tricks. You're blocking us 3-5? Yeah, with uh, my 2-4. We'll see if he wants to unmorph it. Alright, so now here's the thing. I have Enduring Victory. I can um, Enduring Victory his morph. Or his 2-3 flyer. I think I'm going to Enduring Victory the morph. And then bolster, because that's bolster 1, my flyer, and make it a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Oh. Wait, are you, is it on him? It's on me. Like at the end of combat? At, during block. Oh, and I gained two life from Student of Ojitai. I forgot about that. So he can still respond by morphing, I guess, or playing a spell. But I, I gave him the chance to morph if he wanted to. Right? Oh, okay. You could have also waited until the uh, after damage combat step. The yeah, that, that probably would have been better. Yeah. It would have cost you two damage, but like... Um, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have helped anything. No. <coughs> okay, I got a 3-3 three, three flyer now. And he is playing a Sandcraft Mage. Whenever enters battlefield, bolster one. Looks like he has to put it on himself. So he's got a 3-3. Three, three. And Sultai Emissary. With one card in hand. Okay, okay. Is Sultai Emissary a 3-3? Three, three? No, it's a 1-1. One, one. Got a oh, land that with Channel Harm. He's at 14, I'm at 14. Yeah, you I'm can gonna... start attacking with 3-3 three, three Flyer, right? Yeah, I'm going to. Tick, tick, ticking away, ticking away. And I still have my morph, the shield bearer, to do shenanigans with. Oh, nice. The idea is to, like, if he attacks all out, I can trade with his champion and then make my student of 3-5. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And with channel harm set up just in case. Let's make sure it's, so that it prevents all the damage, right? Prevent all damage that will be dealt to you and permanence you control this turn by sources you don't control. If, that damage is, if damage is prevented this way, you may have channel harm, do damage, damage to target creature. So, yeah, let's just prevent everything. Kill, kill off your best thing. The, yeah, kill off your best thing. Yeah. Ooh. It's pretty good once you get the mana. Unfortunately, let's see. This is interesting. So he's playing Ancestral Vengeance on my morph. So when it enters the battlefield, put plus one plus one counter on creature you control, and chain a creature gets negative one, negative one. So I don't know the timing not... of how Mega Morph works though. So it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Don't. Oh. Okay. If I want to put a counter on uh, something else, all right. Yeah, I would. I would do it now. I would pop it over now. Oh, Interest. maybe. Let's see. That's too late. What? Already past oh. turn. Yeah, you're right. Just because the timing of it, I think it will it will kill it when you Mega Morph. Yeah, state based effect. Yeah, you may cast this, or you may cast this. Da, 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 turn it face up anytime, and put it. Here's the thing: the timing of it. So morphing happens instantaneously. So I don't know how that affects the state base. Like, is morph a state base also? I forget. I don't know. Morph instantaneously, but the Mega Morph trigger. It's not a trigger though, is it? Because yeah, the Mega is it a trigger though? The Mega put a plus one plus one counter on it. And so it says turn it face up anytime for a Mega Morph cost and put a plus one plus one counter on it. So that unmorphing. I don't know, man. I'm kind of curious. Let me ask you something, Levi. You you played you put that card last. Time, right? Did you have to stack the effects? No. Oh, I don't know. I, I think, think you the did. plus one plus one counter that the ability, the plus one plus one counter that once you morph it, that ability goes on the stack. Yeah, definitely. When guardian is uh, when guardian barriers turn faced up, put a plus one plus one counter. So that ability goes on the stack. 
but the morph, like what, flipping it. What does, what does the Mega Morph say? It says turn it face up any time for its Mega Mega Morph cost and put a plus one plus one counter on that. So that doesn't go on the stack. Huh. Okay. I mean, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it only makes it. All right. He's got one card in hand, Plains, Plains, Mountain. I mean, we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens, right? This is going to be fun. Well, I guess the annoying thing, though, is it just becomes a 2-1 if it does stay alive. So I can't kill... The champion. Well, actually, let's. You can. It's only. It's a three-two. The champion's a three-two. No, it's a four-three right now. Oh, does he have it bolstered? Yeah. I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna block just because I don't think this guy's gonna live. So it's gonna be a chump block. Are you gonna flip it? Yeah. Let's see. Why don't you double block with your? You'll still get the plus one, plus one. Yeah, I know. You'll, you'll and it worked. Trigger, right? it's, it was all... So it, that guy didn't die. <laughs> oh, okay. Unfortunately, I chump blocked. So that is kind of... It's good to know, right? The Megamorph happens, even though it would have been a, a one zero. Uh Uh-huh. If the Megamorph counter didn't work there. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. that, that was a question. We answered it. But uh, if I knew that, I probably wouldn't have chump blocked, but... Yeah. I'm still okay. He's got one card in hand. I drew a forest. Um, I'm st Let's see. If he attacks... Here's the annoying thing. He's at 15. I'm at 11. He can attack with this 3-4 flyer, and I can't really channel harm it because I'll only do 3 damage. So right now, I, mean, I think we still race, so... Oh, and also gain one. Yeah. We'll race it. It'll be interesting to see how he attacks. I'm at 7 minutes and 49 seconds. So oh, wow. Still gonna have time okay. to play game 3. So I may not be talking to you much if I make it to game 3. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, excellent. He's attacking with his 3-3 three, three and the 3-4 flyer. Which is interesting. Does he have any tricks here? What's he doing? He's one. Alright, I guess I could have killed it even, but... Alright, alright. Butcher. I'm at 8. I'll gain 2 off the channel harm next turn. I probably should have channel harm that time. Did you block? Oh, that's why, because he's going to... Oh, I should have channel harm. I'm an idiot. I didn't... See, this is me not knowing the format. Because then he's going to give my guy negative three, negative three. That just lost me the game. Yeah, I blocked. Expecting him to have some type of spell in his hand, right? Combat spell. But then he has mm -hmm. exploit. Yep, I'm an idiot. I even knew about Solemn Guard Butcher, too. I knew that is in the format. We didn't see it in game one. Yep, that was a hardcore punt there. He's at 12. Can I kill him? Well, I'm not dead yet. How's he at 12? I don't know. Oh, he, he gained 4 life from his champion. Oh. Uh. So he's at 9. I do have channel harm. Man, I'm such an idiot. I can't believe. I even knew that creature existed. Alright, attack all out, attack all out. We're gonna blow that guy up. Prevent all damage, kill your flyer. Let's see, it'll put me in. Oh no, I don't gain the two life off of it either. Dang it. Yeah, so many sloppy plays. I, I got to tighten my game up for this PTQ this weekend, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> PTQ. Why do I... What? 
How does it only do two damage? I don't get this. Oh. This is weird how. Yeah, the PPP, PPTQ. Yeah. Alright. I've got a light walk. He's at nine. Alright, hold up. I do have press advantage. He has fought. Yeah, I think. Next turn I can kill him. Attack him now. Put him to six. Or it's five, nine. I do exactsies. No, we're going to attack the flyer here. I can still squeak this game out. <laughs> I'm at six minutes, though. <laughs> See, it's a, I'm always a little rusty at the beginning. The first match is always a little hard. Yeah, that match one is hard now. Yeah. When you haven't been playing much. See, I could have... Alright, I'm at three. You got the answer? Oh, let's see. He does make a 1-1 one, one flyer, but this gives it plus two, plus two, and trample until end of turn. So I'll be doing nine points of damage to you. You soak up one. Alright, excellent. What's he at? He's at six. He's nice. Two cards in his hand. Oh, shoot. No, I... Well... No, I think it's still fine. I think it's still fine. Yeah, because I forgot that this thing's not... I thought this was a flyer, but it just doesn't have a plus one plus encounter on it. I think I'm still fine. I haven't done the math, though. Chump there. Alright, so he's blocking all that. I think it's still going to be good. That's nine. He soaks up two. He had seven. Yeah, he has a negative one. I mean, I didn't have any other plays to do it, so. So you won? Hold on. I gotta make sure I'm doing everything correctly here. Alright, here we go. Yep, negative one. Got there. <laughs> Five minutes Yay. left. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Time to, time to tighten up my play, huh? Uh-huh. Hopefully you draw your stupid good enchantment. I can't think of what it's called. Master of the Unseen? No, I need to beat him faster than that. Do I take out my 6-6? Six, six? No, I don't want to take him out. That's the only way I'm going to win. I really wish I could see your screen. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Is it driving me crazy? Uh, let's see. It's just like I'm over here, doo 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 doo. -do. Dirtling around over there, yeah. I want to watch some Netflix or something. I don't know. I mean, you can. It's... Let's see. I should reload. Here. I want to put in glaring Aegis, kind of what he did, because that made. I was very impressed with that playing against that card. It did a lot of work. But didn't you two for one him with it? Um. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Man, maybe you're right. <laughs> but imagine putting that on my territorial rock. All right, makes it a 2 6. He doesn't have any direct removal either. He just had damage and nake 3, nake 3. Uh, he had defeat, which was actually really good against that rock. Dang, that's right. He did have that. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> that's it. I'm taking out all my two drops. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's good yeah. to know, to make sure I put Glaring Aegis on something that's above two, or two casting costs. Pinion, yeah, Pinion that's probably Feast. Cool. Let me take out Pinion Feast, although his flyers did do a lot of work. Now I need Pinion Feast. All right. Aegis isn't going in there, because I, I, I would take out the 6-6 six, six flyer, the 7 drop, but I don't want to take mm -hmm. that out. That's kind of like my whamalama. I don't think the Aegis... It just is that good. So I agree. Yeah, okay. All right, submitting. I, I five, think... five minutes to beat him. It's going to be a close one. And I've got two lands. Five, six drops. Guy oh, the lady's coming home. Uh, this could be bad. I've got only one play. I hear yep. Hey, Mego. I'm on the draw. All right, Drew Land, excellent. Yeah, I probably won't be doing too much talking. <laughs> All right, Emissary, huh? 
playing this the light the light walker. It's a two one. Let's get a counter on it. He's attacking. Yeah, there we go. You can get in there. I'm not gonna not gonna block that. He's got a grizzly bear. Alright, let's see. Misfoot, Karen, Flying Vigilance. Okay, we're gonna mega morph that, but let's attack first. I'm okay with trading you for him. Any blocks? Any blocks? Blocks, sure. Megan wants to know why I'm not watching your screen. Because <laughs> I don't want to share. I don't want to share my screen. Uh, take one, two. I think I block. Just get it, get it out of there. Get your two, two. Hmm, dang it, the mana's a little off. Maybe hit Cracker Me for four. Flying Vigilance. Let's need another land. Let's need one more land. It'll be good to go. <coughs> Alright, 3 minutes 34 seconds, gotta play faster, gotta play faster. No blocks, next turn I could block and center soul if I need to, which I think I will be. This flying Vigilance is awesome. What do I block? Death Touch Guy? Yeah, because I can't protection from that color. Don't click through. It is an instant. Yep. Dead air. Three three minutes left. I sent it protection from black. Yeah. Doing some work. He's stuck on two lands. I'm stuck on three. Nice. Are you panicking? <laughs> a little bit. I'm at... Um, how much time do you have left? Two minutes, 52 seconds. All right, got my fourth land. He has plenty of time left, I assume. Let's see. Oh, it's a green, though. Uh, let's see. Sky Captain. Yeah, he's got nine minutes. He's at 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a manifest creature. He's 2 2 and he's stuck oh. on two lands. I just got to make sure I don't lose this game on time. It's waiting on him. He's still stuck on two. He's going to have to discard. Let's see. I can do. It's five. Nine, I can do nine points of damage to him next turn with press advantage. I like that. I think I'll do that too. I'm at 13. Yeah, then he'd have to have two answers. What's, what's his level at? 11. Hmm. Can you kill him with press the advantage? Because you probably ought to wait until you can kill him with it. No, not next turn. It'll depend on. I'd probably. If, add it'll depend on what I play because I only have four lands. So if I don't draw, like I don't, I have no other plays though. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, okay. If I draw yeah. a land, though, I, I've got a play. If I draw a planes, I could play Avon Sunstriker, the double striker, which would be good. Or I could play the Feral Crew Shock. So oh. the idea would be the Avon Sunstriker, if I give that plus two, plus two next turn, um, that'd be six damage. Versus the Feral Crew Shock, which would be seven trample. So probably the oh. Avon Sunstriker, just because it has flying. But he is just sitting oh. here. Let me... 
I oh, was shoot. And you know what? I stopped. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, I did pause it because I was waiting forever, but I did win that game. He finally got one more land, but he couldn't keep up with my flyers. He killed the 2-2 two -two bolster guy, and I put my tokens on my vigilant flyer guy, and then won with him. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll bring you back for match two, so hold on.